back to the comments section. I'm Brett Cooper. I'm actually very excited to see what do you guys think of this episode? Because in my mind, it's a tad niche. This is very TikTok centered drama. It's not very mainstream, but you know what? These people, these TikTok celebrities, they are becoming mainstream. It's kind of wild to think about how, you know, in the early 2000s, we had the Paris Hiltons and the Britney Spears and all these huge pop stars. And now the people that are mega famous are, you know, the Charlie D'Amelios and Little Huddy and Addison Rae, who is who we're going to be talking about today. Who are you people? If you don't know who any of those people are, that is okay. And you probably live a happier life than most of us who do know who they are. But before we get into it, make sure that you like this video, subscribe to this channel if you have not already, ring that notification bell, and if you are interested, go to dailywire.com slash Brett to check out the first capsule of my merch collection. So to set the scene for you all for a little bit of backstory, Addison Ray is a huge TikToker, like millions and millions and millions and millions and millions and millions of followers. She started making TikToks, I believe, in the fall of 2019. She was a student at LSU. She quickly started skyrocketing towards fame and she dropped out of school, moved to LA, and then it's just only grown from there. She's now singing. She's been in movies. And while her fame rapidly grew, her family's fame grew as well. Sort of like the D'Amelios where they kind of became this viral family unit. Like her parents now had TikToks account. They were doing trending dances. They were making YouTube videos and they all just got super rich and super famous. But there was some drama bubbling under the surface. Her parents were originally together, had Addison, and then they split up and divorced for a few years when she was very young. Then they got back together and then they became famous together. And then some cheating allegations came out earlier this year that the dad, whose name is Monty Lopez, was apparently um, having an affair with a 25-year-old woman. And apparently he had lied to her and said that he and Sherry, who is Addison Ray's mom, were separated. And so it was totally fine. But Sherry, is saying, no, we were not separated. We were still married. You still cheated on me. So now the whole family is split apart and their dirty laundry is hanging out for literally everybody on the internet to see. And so they split up maybe two months ago and Sherry immediately changes her Instagram to single mom and starts posting thirst traps. And listen, the lady's beautiful. She is 40 something but as clearly taken care of herself. I mean, y'all, if you want to look like that when you're 44, you should be using Nimi skincare because this lady's skin is flawless. Nimi skincare is 100% an American made brand and they even source some of their ingredients from local American farms. So you know you are getting the best of the best. And on top of that, they have incredible values. They are anti-woke, anti-cancel culture, and they even donate some of their profits to pro-America organizations. If you want to go check them out, go to nimiskincare.com. Use promo code Cooper at checkout for 15% off your order. I use their daily glow up routine every single day. I swear by it, you should too. So go to nimiskincare.com, use promo code Cooper at checkout. Back to Sherry, who is posting more bikini pictures than I have ever posted in my entire life. During this whole split and all of this drama, a now viral famous SoundCloud rapper named Young Gravy. My God, I can't believe this is my life. Young Gravy starts posting about how he loves MILFs. And if you don't know what the term MILF is, it originated in the film American Pie, and it means mom, I'd like to f And so it's usually used by younger guys who are into older, sexy women. For God's sake, you're a bunch of degenerates. He started going viral, posting all of these, you know, TikToks about these older women, one of whom was Sherry. And Sherry, in her newly single era, really liked that. And so she started posting responses to him. Here's one of them. I'm back in America, I'm looking to make some whoopee, you feel me? I'm trying to butter the biscuit. That was young, great. Oh, oh God. <laughs> the commitment that it took to buy all of those biscuits Put them in the oven. Put on your little apron and stand there. Like, ma'am, you are a mother. What is going on? Anyway, Young Gravy really liked that. And so they started doing a little flirtation back and forth on TikTok and on Instagram. And the ex-husband, Monty, did not like that. And he starts having a bit of a breakdown on social media. And he posts this. Can I get a says when at young gravy won't accept a boxing match and then he does this really really cringe 
flexing, gritting his teeth, and then at the very end, at the very bottom, it goes, run, white boy, run. <laughs> Throughout all of this, the only person that I really care about is Addison, is this poor, like, 22-year-old girl who did dances on TikTok, suddenly became famous, and now her parents' messy divorce and affairs are being aired out online, and all she's trying to do is sell her new lipstick that she made. I immediately regret this decision. Obviously, she's not having a good time, and she unfollows both of her parents on social media, and there's all of these accounts online that track people's followers, and they immediately caught on to that, and they were posting all these screenshots of, like, Addison unfollows her parents, and Sherry responded to one of those and goes, this is heartbreaking, I didn't deserve it. It's like, okay, maybe you're not the worst person in the world, but you're still posting thirst traps about a 24-year-old boy, and you are in the midst of a divorce? And this boy is like closer to your daughter's age. Like, obviously, I'm guessing she's going to be uncomfortable by that. That did not stop Sherry from taking it a step further. She did not go, oh, hey, my daughter is clearly uncomfortable with this. We should maybe make this more private. We'll handle our family situations. No. Instead, she decides to go to the VMA Awards with Young Gravy. And they packed on the PDA. I have three different videos for you. Avert your eyes if you don't want to see some cougar milf action. All right, here we go. And here they are. Oh, nice kissing. Kissing. All right, there's one. So they kissed on the on the black carpet. It's not a red carpet. And then here we go again. Ooh, this is during the award show. Okay. Mm, so in the middle of the award show, they're sitting next to each other, making out. And then here's another one. They did interviews together and kissed during that. And they're in matching outfits. Can we just take a look at her dress? Even if somebody was 22 years old, I would still not really like that dress. Like you are fully on display and I just can't get over the fact that you are somebody's mother. I'm all about, you know, wear what you wanna wear. If you are comfortable, it's not my life. But as a daughter, that makes me uncomfortable. Just saying. And I also think it's important to look at Sherry's facial expressions in all of this. Like she does not look comfortable. She's like, oh God, what have I gotten myself into? I'm now like half naked at an award show with a 24 year old boy, 20 years younger than her. So people lost their damn minds. It was basically next to Lizzo was the only thing that caught people's attention at the VMA. Somebody said, young gravy with Addison's mom is one of the best PR moves I've seen in a minute. The PR department was cooking in their little cubicle with that one. So obviously people are split about whether this is real or whether it is a PR stunt in my mind. I think it started out as real because Sherry was, you know, single and flirty and kind of hungry. And then her PR team was probably like, hey, Sherry, this would be a really good look. You'll get boosted. You'll get tons of fame from, you know, hanging out with young gravy. And now she's like, crap, what have I done? That's kind of my perspective about all of it. Somebody else said, if young gravy so much as glances in the general direction of my mother, I am kicking him in the throat. Same. You disgusting little man. It's so weird. Even Young Gravy, though, had a response because, like I said, Twitter went wild. Basically, every pop culture and tabloid magazine was writing about them at the VMAs, going like, what's going on? Is this PR? Is it not PR? And he tweeted out and said, she's newly single and living her life. Leave her alone. And he's also done some podcast episodes recently where he said that they have a real connection, but they're also just like hanging out. So it's all very vague. I can't believe that I'm spending my time dissecting a cougar milf relationship, but that's kind of where we are right now. I promise I will have a lesson at the end of this. So then we are back to Monty, the ex-husband, who also had a response. He was going a little crazy on TikTok. Now he was unleashing holy hell on Instagram. The night of the VMAs, he posted this, uh, shirtless selfie what the hell is even that and said unbothered thank you young gravy for taking the leftovers i would rather spend time with my daughter and two grandkids that sherry nicole made me abandon as a child in order to be with her never let a woman make you choose between her or your blood child so apparently he's sort of referring to the time when they were divorced many years ago and he was not in the children's lives and sherry was a single mom before that but that was not all he did he also wrote a diss track about young gravy Jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. Cut your damn hair, you be looking like a housewife. Say that you a rapper, you a singer that cannot fight. If you need some help, I can sell your ass a feature. Maybe help you get some press and a little street cred. That's only a bit of it, but he's telling Young Gravy uh, to cut his hair so that he doesn't look like a housewife and that he is avoiding Monty's fight. And that little diss track, uh, his first ever single is called Leftovers. And he did, in fact, 
post that on his Instagram story. So if anybody is still wondering why Addison Rae unfollowed both of her parents on social media, I think we all, I think it's pretty clear. This whole situation, even though it is semi-ridiculous pop culture drama, it is very indicative of how narcissistic our culture has become. And I've talked about this before, but we are now living in this digital age where no matter how many followers you have, no matter how much attention there is on you, people feel the need to air out all of their crap online for everybody to see. There are basically no boundaries between your public life and your private life. And having a private life is not only okay, but it is essential. We are watching a family crumble apart in front of us. It's also not only indicative of, you know, our narcissistic culture, but it is also indicative of our failing society where families are falling apart. It is incredibly unhealthy. There is very little loyalty. Like this whole story, it's just a bit of a dumpster fire, which is kind of where our society is. And you might call me a traditionalist for advocating for nuclear families and traditional families and that sort of thing. But I would so much rather have that and have a private life than have something like this. And if this is the modern, contemporary, cool family of 2022, I don't want it. Do you want to be the only person not caught up on the internet's latest news? I didn't think so. So make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell so you never miss an episode.